have sought to understand the breaking of the world. 3,000 years ago, Luz Theron and the forces of light struck the Dark One and sealed him away. Before he was imprisoned, the Dark One delivered one last defiant strike. The Dark One poisoned the source of power for male Aes Sedai. With this, Luz Theron lost his mind. He murdered his beloved wife. He slew his children she bore him. His friends, his court, everyone. The Dark One released Luz Theron from his madness, just to show him what he had done. But it wasn't Luz Theron alone who suffered. The poison spread. No male Aes Sedai was spared. And so began the breaking. Time of madness. It was a time of unchecked, unhinged rage that destroyed the world. They changed the face of the world and ended the age of legends. Humanity is driven to the brink of extinction. What few survivors remained? are scattered across a broken and unrecognizable land. The breaking lasts for over a hundred years and ends only when the last male channeler alive is gentled. By then, entire civilizations had disappeared. Centuries of progress and knowledge gone. The very lives we live today are shaped by this immeasurable loss. For those of you destined to take the shore, it would be among the most sacred of duties, as an Aes Sedai, to protect the world from another such breaking. A thousand years after the breaking, battles still raged against the forces of the Dark One. With the towers of Manetherin to their backs, King Aemon and his army defended their people. Battling through unrelenting days and nights, they held their city against Trollocs, dark friends and dreadlords until they could no longer hold the river from crossing. Behind the honor of the Red Eagle banner, retreat found no place amongst them. Oh! 
Close, sir. Personally, the figure blasted me is in order. Look alive. waters flow almost entirely unimpeded until it finds itself here when the island of Tarvalon splits the mighty river Erinin into two halves. Thousands of years ago, long before the walls of our great city were raised by Ogier hands, there existed a great era of humanity. of legends was a time of advancement. Philosophy, science, technology. What little knowledge survived the breaking alludes to incredible progress. Society benefited through true collaboration as female and male Aes Sedai worked together with each half of the One Power. Saida and Saidi, woman and man, halves of the whole. Two parts from the same source, the true source. When men touch Saidi, it's wild and unwieldy, a raging torrent resisting. And after the Dark One corrupted Saidi, the madness is unavoidable. Tainted upstream, the two cannot be separated. When women touch the true source with Saida, we surrender and guide. In its gentleness we find its infinite power. To master these waters will take time and practice. My daughters, let us begin. Empty yourself of your thoughts. The only thing in your mind is the bud of the flower. Only that. You can see every detail, every vein, every leaf, every curve. Feel it, know it. You and the butt are one. As one age passes into memory, another finds its beginnings.
Part of the ashes of the breaking, surviving factions of female Aes Sedai emerged into a new world. They met under common cause to protect the world from further devastation. While male Aes Sedai continued their descent into madness and destruction, the island of Tarvalon was chosen and the White Tower was born. A base dedicated to progress, research, and training. Here, those with the natural ability to channel are welcomed as novices to begin their training. From novicehood, years may pass before a sacred serpent ring is placed on one's finger, raising her to the level of accepted. And long after, when deemed ready, the accepted take the three oaths and are raised to wear the shawl as Aes Sedai. Those lucky enough to get called to the shul will choose their Aja of seven factions, each with their own specific purpose. Warriors, standing ready. Healers of all things living. Keepers of the past. Seekers of justice. Law-focused diplomats. Pursuers of truth and reason. And those dedicated to preventing the wrong and dangerous use of the One Power. The Hall of the Tower is our central council, represented by three sitters from each Aja. Here we vote and deliberate over important matters. On the throne, the Amalin seat. Here, I was sworn in as the Watcher of the Seals, the Flame of Tarvalon, chosen for life. It was no accident that we chose the island of Tarvalon in plain view of Dragonland. It's a message, spoken to all generations. A reminder of the past. A warning that the Dragon Reborn will come. One day. It is indeed the very rare and unusual Ogia who will decide to leave their steading homes. In the years that followed the breaking, during the long exile, we Ogia wandered lost in search of our steadings. It was then that Ogia began to succumb to the longing, to the point of death. Even after finding our steadings once again, we Ogia continued to be bound to our homes. There is no lovelier place than an Ogia grove. With its great trees, some stand towering since the Age of Legends. No shadow spawn will enter. There is no way to channel the One Power. In the steading, there is rest. While humankind has long prized Ogier masonry from Ilion, Tyr, to the great Tarvalon. It is not the true thing. For us, it has always been the forest. You cannot bring stone to life. Us. 
As a young Ogier, I had few prized possessions, of which beyond my books I have not many. And whilst there is nothing better than to be at home in the steadings, surrounded by the comforts which offer wisdom and peace with our beloved groves in sight. True adventure calls. Adventure that cannot be found in a book. Adventure that may in fact risk the longing 